my prison mates. Today I am gonna play the prison boys once again, and this is part 12. And I'm so excited how big this series has gotten so so fastly. We're already at part 12. It's like yesterday we've been at part one, but yesterday we we're at actually part 11. Now we're at part 12, and I can't wait until we go to the next. Chapter. I hope we get into the next chapter of this episode. If not, then the next episode probably gonna get into the next chapter. And also, if you're gonna notice, like Tuesday, I'm gonna upload a little bit late because school starts for me. I'm going for my fifth year in high school because I gotta take a fifth year, and you know it's it's stuff. So I don't want I want to get into the detail. Let's just play the Prison Boys right now. And I'm done with this intro. <laughs> so, we just found out these stages that we went through. So, yeah. Also, I'm going to uh, uh, look through a play walkthrough like we did. And, like I said a couple of days ago, like, I'm a rebel. I want to get caught. Okay, are you going to you gonna read to... Sorry, I'm so over exaggerated. I just had like coffee now. <laughs> okay. Are you going to read the next story? Yes, I am. Thank you for asking. Alright. So, who is the killer? Let's see. Also, you don't really believe he is guilty, do you? Uh Nuggy gasped. Nagi and Mitsuru were always arguing, but that didn't mean that they really hate each other. Oh, sure it didn't. <laughs> Even though they called each other names as partners, they should have, they should have, uh, they should have had, they should have a trusting relationship. They should have had a trust, a trusting relationship. Nagi slowly exhaled and said with a long face. I don't know. I have no clue. But no matter how much I think about it, I just cannot accept the fact that Naya killed himself. I can't convince myself that he killed himself. The room was filled with silence. We couldn't move as if our body turned to stone. As if to shake off the long silence, Nagi made tight fists over his knees and said, Tetsu, I'm gonna go. What? I need to find out if if it was really a suicide. Okay, so this game is all about finding a killer and, you know, suicide. But this is actually, um, my, my, when my dad told me this. He said there's a, suicide is actually a big thing in Japan because of the famous suicide forest um, where people kill themselves in that forest. Um, so it does in many other anime games. It does in... Have you ever heard of Doki Doki Literature Club? This is basically the same thing, but not all the characters kill themselves and you don't, and no, none of them goes crazy. But they're, but if you've seen that Nayo kill himself, that's like... That's like a connection to Sayori's suicide by her hanging herself. So yeah, Doki Doki Literature Club is basically like this, but um, none of the characters glitch out or anything. Um, just like Doki Doki, but but I'm just saying that Naya's death is very similar, very very similar, and maybe the same as Sayori's death in Doki Doki Literature Club. Okay, I need to find out if it was really suicide. And I was just telling you that little part because I just wanted to tell you why this this thing. You mean I'll go to his room? No, there's nothing left in that room anymore. Still, something might be in might be there. It's okay, Tetsu. I'll go because I'm unhappy with this. If if I caught and fired because if I get if I get caught, remember I said this is translated to Japanese from from Japanese to English, so it's kind of, probably the grammar is bad a little bit. If I caught if I get caught and fired because of this, I'm not I'm not gonna bother you, Nagi. Silence. Okay, you better not go. Um, I think 
Tetsu would actually go with him because he wants to protect Nagi. I'll go with you. I'll go with you, Nagi. When I said it, Nagi frantically waved his hand. No, I'm not gonna make you do that. Nah, don't be such a stranger. Naya, Naya and you are my family. When I said that, Nagi looked slightly take take it back and started laughing. Haha, <laughs> yeah, that's true. I like how the happy music just starts. <laughs> It was the first time I saw Nagi smile since Naya died. Ooh, that's dark. All right, after bedtime. Kids, it's bedtime. <laughs> after bedtime, when everyone was sleeping, we slipped out of the room with flashlights. Standing in front of the room 318, I tried not to make a sound and turned the doorknob. Clink. I knew it. I knew it was locked. I wish we could use Mitsuru's key, though. I have, haven't seen him since the funeral. The last resort in the spare key, it should be in a caretaker's room. Let's go. We came down to the caretaker's room in, f in the fourth basement. The spare key is here. We reached over to the key box and fixed on the wall. Clatter, clatter. It seems to be locked. A padlock. Can we unlock it somehow? Maybe we can open it if we know the password that the caretaker set up. That seems pretty unlikely though. Okay, how to play. Tickets are recorded to play chapters. Fair tickets, 5 a.m. every day, yada yada yada, okay. Okay. To release a story you can play without using a ticket. Are you gonna read the next story? Yes, we are! Ooh, chapter two, suspicion. Okay, we got to chapter two, and I was praying that we got to chapter two in this episode, and we did! So I'm gonna name this chapter two. Um, so, uh, chapter two, we're gonna name, I'm gonna name this part chapter two, because this was kind of like, you know, chapter one. Or maybe a chapter one slash two or something like that, okay? So just wait until the episode uploads. Start. Ooh, I'm so excited for this. So it's gonna be tickets every each day. Uh yeah. Okay, Nagi's thinking about something. About Naya's health condition. Are you okay now, Nagi? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm fine. I could see dark circles under his eyes. I haven't slept in days. <laughs> Hmm, Nagi, please stop smoking weed. Uh, don't be so worried. It's better than being bored. Nagi doesn't look so healthy. He just stays normal to sh by sheer force. A world of finding the truth about Naya's death. I have to be with and need to watch out for him. I thought I thought that firmly. What are you supposed to do with Naya's... Shon, Shonen Noka, a memorial service on the sixth day after death. Okay, so that's like probably in Japan. I was going to attend the ceremony. I was going to attend the ceremony, but things changed. If I come back to my family, now they will definitely ask me to stay at the at the here of of a head family. So I won't go. Nagi. Tetsu, you can go. You'll become a hostage, though. It's... You can't deny it, can you? That's the Saki. <sighs> About Mitsuru. Nagi, do you still think Mitsuru is as suspic suspicious? Don't keep going over the same things. I said I don't know. Nagi made a terrible, troubled face and said after pausing a moment... I don't like Mitsuru. That's true. So maybe I want to believe that he is guilty. On the other hand, I know I recognize his competence, I guess. So maybe I I want to be sure that Mitsuru is not guilty. I just don't know. I really don't. But I just feel like there's 
always something on his mind when he was he was with Naya. I didn't want to think that that was bad feeling. That was a bad feeling. Hey Nagi, if you find the key, are you really going to go into their room? Of course I will. What do you think we're taking this risk for? I know, but if we find the key and get into the room, I feel like we're n we'll never get back. Get back where? Uh, <laughs> I could couldn't tell myself about the feelings. I could say that I couldn't tell my ignorant self anything about the feelings. It's like I changed after entering to Yokiki OH. I feel like something would change if I knew the truth of Naya's death. I couldn't help thinking that way. Okay. Let's go. Alright. To do a search in Naya's room, we need to gain the spare key that is in the caretaker's room. We have to be careful. Alright, well... Okay, I guess we're going to read the next story. And then we're probably going to end this episode. Because I really want to search for this key. Okay. So, okay, we already talked about them. Oops. Get to put the camera up a little bit. Okay. Now we're going to search. I spread open the paper. On the front page, there was the big headline. Lover's suicide resulting from the popular trend in free love. Suicide because their parents are against the marriage? Parents always think children are their possessions. I think my parents think the same. You don't want to get married. I'm grateful for your parents, though. Me too. They took you in, and you became a member of, our, of my family, and I thank them for it. But it was also their trick. They get someone in their debt and earn the... And enmity as well. That's how they expand their power. They must think of you just like a stra stratic marriage. They don't. They took in a son from the Tetsu to. <laughs> I can't say his last name. So I gotta say Tetsu. What are they? These. They get his last name, of the Tetsu to create a good public image. That's all they did. They just took in you and did nothing for you. But thanks to them, I could meet you and Naya. No matter what they really think, I'm grateful for them. To them. If your parents decide my marriage partner, I would obey their will. I can't return evil for good. As I said that, he and smiled. Nagi for his brows inside. <sighs> That's what they want. I'm telling you. But yeah, people who can think that way are easy. They understand that a marriage is just a decoration. But others who can't be dry about it sometimes need to kill some themselves to realize their love. Nothing is more important than living, though. Okay. Okay. Um, we are at chapter 2, Suspicion. Oh wait, I'm not supposed to have this big cabinet. It's a fixed locker. I try pulling the handle. Clatter, clatter. I can't open it. it. Is it locked? No, I don't think so. Maybe it's badly built. The hinge is rusted. It might open if we use grease or something. Okay, so tap on the big cabinet. Okay. Oh, we got it. Red right, note. Red is written on it. Red? Is that from this that seventy show? <laughs> the part, the right part is ripped out. Is there the remaining half? Hmm. Tetsu, what's wrong? Oh well, I had deja vu. What? I speak French now. <laughs> I had the same kind of conversation with Naya at, I call, at, at, at Okawa's house. Ah, you were able to carry a mission with him? When I heard his mumble, 
I felt a little guilty. Ugh. What do we find next? Okay, we gotta we'll go to. We gotta move. We gotta move to 330. Room 330. Okay, is this Tess's desk? I got back to my room. Why do we come back? I think. My notifications. I think. There might be some useful, something useful in this room. Okay, I think we had better not walk around. Security guards will find us. Yeah, I'll try to be careful. I mean, why do I go on the eyes of my school? Oh, search, sorry. All right. It's my drafty pen. It needs ink. What, what? A pen? You want to write something? Yeah. A pencil is better, right? I have one. There might be other uses for it. Huh? And then... Okay, move to the cafeteria. All right. Okay, we moved to, now we're gonna move to the cafeteria. Just getting a midnight snack. The lunch lady isn't there. I stepped in the cafeteria. Tetsu, why do we come here? Are you serious about searching? Just wanna... <laughs> I feel a bit peckish. Sure you do. Sure you do. Uh, look at look at Aggie's face. Peckish? What do you mean fucking peckish? This gonna be this is gonna be a long episode. Okay, Nagi looked at me sharply like he's gonna kill me. Just kidding. You're frowning while you're saying just kidding. Duh, stop joking. The fuck was that? Oh, my, did you hear that? That sounded like a fart. <laughs> oh my god. Rumble, rumble. Uh, Nagi? Yeah, he's hungry. Rumble, rum rumble. Okay. Nagi, are you hungry? Can't be helped. I haven't had anything since yesterday. Be patient. Who's saying that? Alright, well, we're search. What do we search for? Oh! Okay, we found a little bottle. Tables. We took huge officers usually have our meals here. Alright, well... It's a bottle! I think it's a cooking oil bottle. Why is it here? Maybe someone left it. Ooh, I know what to do. I put my pen into the oil bottle. My pen, I put oil on the pen tip. All right. Yikes, Tetsu, what are you doing? I think I can use this for the place. Tetsu, do you think that's strange? No way, I have a plan. What do we get? Move to the janitor's office. Okay, we're gonna move to the cleaner's office. No, no, not search. Move to the. No! Damn it! We... <laughs> no, we don't move to your room. We move to janitor's office. Okay, now what do we do? Okay. Janitor's office. Use a pen on the locker. Ooh, okay. I put the oil on the hinge with a pen. What are you doing? Like this, with a pen. Just put oil here and... Clang! Did it! Oh, I get it. You use the pen instead of the oil, an oiler. Yeah, now we can look inside the locker. Phew. How did you come up with that? This is a post. This is a poster. Ah, uh, the actress. I like her. Yeah, she's pretty. Hey, I'm talking about her breasts. He is horny. <laughs> breasts. They're certainly big. Come on, stop. What's what's that look for? Tetsu, are you really a man? No, I'm a woman. I'm kidding. Uh, let's see. 
heavily uniformed, okay. In the locker, there was a uniform, which is apparently the caretaker's. What? Something... Wait, what? Something's in the pocket. A ticket for the Asakusa Movie Theater. The date is September 5th. It's seven months ago. A movie ticket? A new movie? Oh. It's a pretty old one. Huh? Look, the date is December 5th. It's a movie that was popular last year. Oh, is it? Why does he have the this old movie ticket? Okay, we got a ticket. Is the kind of under the desk to find a password lock? This? Ooh, okay. 125. There we go. Clang! Yes, did it! Okay, let's check it out! Entertainment Magazine, Movie Operas. That's a kiss of magazine. I guess the caretaker really likes entertainment. There emerged a savior in Asakusa Opera House. New singer Tuko Takabayashi attracts conspiracy attention. Ooh, wow. Okay, guys, I think I'm gonna stop this right here because this has been a very, very long episode. And, um, we are actually going to go. Um,. So, I'm actually going to leave right now, and I hope you guys like this video, and yeah, I hope you like this video, and I hope you like the entertainment that I brought you, and I hope you first of all stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!